You know, reading is one of the most critical and often challenging subjects a child must learn in life. The cognitive skills a child develops in the early years of elementary school will affect their overall development both academically and socially. Well, today we have the pleasure of welcoming Sherelle Walker, representing Scientific Learning, a company established by a leading team of neuroscientists, which through the study of neuroplasticity have designed a series of learning intervention programs designed to help improve your children's reading and comprehension skills. We really appreciate you being here with us, Sherelle. And for me, it's so interesting to know that initially the brain was thought to be a rigid structure to now the discovery that it is a plastic, malleable structure. Talk to me a little bit about how this will affect what a child is able to learn. You're absolutely right. There are areas of the brain that are strong and there are some areas of the brain that can be weak. And what we've done in scientific learning, because we have 30 years of brain research behind us, is that we focus on those foundational skills that are really required to learn anything. And that's memory, your attention, your processing skills, and your sequencing skills. Classic example, a student sitting in a classroom asked to read a paragraph, can read all the sentences, but when the teacher asks them about what they read, they really can't tell you. Working memory just wasn't strong enough. So a brain really can be retrained. It can be retrained. And this is a part of what happens with the achievement gap that we see all the time. Students who get further and further behind their peers in school, they can be one, two, three, four, five grade levels behind because they can't keep up with what's happening in the classrooms. Sherelle, please tell us a little bit more about scientific learning and some of the programs that you actually offer in the schools. Well, we offer computer-based programs for students and it's based on our patented technology, which means no one can do what we do. And our programs are called Fast Forward and our second set of programs is called Reading Assistant. And we use these with students in schools to really tighten up and close that achievement gap. And so what are some of the programs and things you can recommend in the improvement rates that you've seen using scientific learning? Well, you know, our results are absolutely phenomenal, and, and I've been an educator, so I understand the issues that educators are facing. Mm -hmm. But when you think that you have a struggling youngster in your school, and in the span of a year's time, you may get them four, five, six months growth in reading. Mm -hmm. Now, think about the fact that what we do is that we can get, on average, a year to two years growth in eight to 12 weeks. Now, now that's just phenomenal because we work really hard all year with some great teachers and great content, mm -hmm. but we're not able to move those students. Well, we didn't know enough about how the brain functions to really make that difference, but now students can grow one to two years, and in fact, many of our students grow even much more than that in that short period of time. That's really great for educators. Well, and let's learners. do this. Let's take a look at one of your students because we came in contact with a young girl named Josie. And for the past year, she's participated in the Fast Forward program at her school, and this is her story. Great. Hi, I'm Josie, and I live in Dittmer, Missouri. Um, it was after kindergarten, about first grade. She, I noticed her struggling with her reading. My student, Josie, who was chosen for the Fast Forward Reading Program, had been identified as needing support services in reading since first grade. Frustration, tears. I want to be a better reader, and I want to actually read well as the other kids because I wanted help. After Fast Forward, we have more um, interest in reading, more fluency in reading, and she's just happier kid, and we're all happier when it comes to sitting down and reading and doing homework now. She was so thrilled. She was one of the leads in our class play in May and was able to express herself so eloquently. Yes, I am proud of myself. Thank you for whoever made up Fast Forward because it's really helped me and I believe it's going to help everybody else. Wow, what a great story for her and she's involved in so much right now. She's reading, she's doing plays. Are these the kinds of success stories that just warm your heart? They, they absolutely are. In fact, we get unsolicited responses mm -hmm. from parents mm -hmm. and educators. And in fact, I can think of one young man who was diagnosed as severe dyslexic and that he would never be able to read without one-on-one -on -one support. Well, that young man is now in college today mm -hmm. on his own. Well, what's next for scientific learning? Well, you know, we're really continuing to focus on how the brain functions and how the brain learns. Mm -hmm. We're looking at infants. We have research going on with infant studies. And we're also looking at how adults continue to have good cognition as they get older. So in the next five years, I would just love to see 
every school have access to the kind of research and support that we've made for students, and we can actually close that achievement gap. Oh, that would be wonderful. If people want to find out more information about scientific learning, where can they do that? Well, you can actually go to our website. That's www.scilearn.com. That's scientificlearning.com. We have all kinds of studies on our website. You can look at our science. You can look at results and, and research from school districts around the country, and you can take a look at our products as well. All right, Cheryl Walker, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank Thank you. Next, a minimally invasive procedure which helps put an end to varicose veins.